Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting stories like these. Now, let's get into today's story video. Caught my wife cheating on me with her boss who happens to be a celebrity. Just like that, my whole life is gone. Her and I have been married for 6 years, but we've been together for 15. We only have one kid. We are a lesbian relationship, and I had no idea she was interested in guys until this occurred. I'm not sure I even know who she is anymore. She's not aware that I discovered it, and I'm still not emotionally prepared to address her right now. I haven't seen her in about four days, and she won't be returning home until Friday due to crucial business concerns, but I now know that it was also a made-up lie. She's presumably with her employer, reveling in her wealth and success. I just discovered out because all of our phone data had been synchronized when I upgraded my phone, and the texts were simply there. I can't seem to get it out of my thoughts. I never saw a reason to be skeptical of her since I trusted her so much. We've been together since we were kids and she never let me down. I'm completely taken aback, and I have no one to talk to since after all, she's still my wife, and I don't want to hear anybody speak negatively about her. I'm quite sure this is no longer going to function. She gumped me for a guy, not another woman. I recognize a good-looking guy when I see one, and he is unquestionably one of them. I can't compete with him since he's wealthier and more successful than I am. I've seen him in movies and TV programs, and I've seen him in person. I used to have a lot of respect for him. I've never felt so belittled in my life. I'm not sure where I went wrong since everything went just as intended. We promised our kid a nice family, and she sabotaged it. Right now, he's the only thing keeping me sane. I would have done something risky if it hadn't been for him. She earns more money than I do, and divorce will be quite expensive. I'm still debating if I want to do it right now. Maybe she wants one as well. I need to speak to her. But doing so makes it real, and I'm not ready to confront that yet. I'm at a loss on what to do. I'm completely lost. I'm too old to start anew. What lady would want me at my age? And even if they do, it won't be the same connection I had with her. I let myself and my kid down. He should not have to bear the repercussions of her acts and my failing. He did not choose to be born into this world. We made a decision and made a pledge, but it didn't get us anywhere. I want to seek treatment and legal counsel, but for the time being, all I actually need is a buddy. Thank you so much to everyone who has contacted me. I like conversing with you all, and I apologize for not being able to respond to all of your messages. There's simply so much to do, but I'll do my best. I never anticipated things to go so wrong, but my wife will return on Friday. On the same day, I'll be meeting with a divorce lawyer. I'm hoping I can put on a brave front and pretend everything is well. I intend to conceal the fact that I am aware of her affair. This will put me one step ahead of the divorce proceedings, which will make me feel a lot better. It also allows me more time to collect proof. Please send me your best wishes. Update 1. A lot has transpired in the month since I last updated. My SDBX is adamantly opposed to the divorce and wants us back together. She is in such a state of desperation that she has had to seek the assistance of her family. Of course, she got it. Divorce will be very difficult since she refuses to cooperate. I still have no understanding what's going on half of the time since I despise legal jargon. I eventually spoke with her affair partner last Sunday after threatening to expose him. I'm embarrassed that I allowed myself to do it and the language I used wasn't exactly courteous. I was seized by rage. I'm amazed we were able to get an agreement on meeting. If it hadn't been for his lovely wife, I would have slammed his head against a table as soon as I saw him that day. Law. He apologized and I could see he was earnest in his apology. He started telling me that he told her about his open marriage with his wife and that he never, ever suggested sleeping with her, STBX. He had that much faith in my wife. In reaction to his statement, my STBX said that our marriage was no longer as thrilling as it once was, and that reportedly stated that sleeping with other people was also okay. Their affair did not begin immediately after that, rather it developed gradually. AP wife claimed to have slept with my wife as well. When she inquired if I was sleeping around, my STBX answered that I didn't want to just yet, but that I was completely happy with what she was doing as long as no one talked about it until I asked. I never mentioned this nor did I ever believe our marriage wasn't interesting. Every day was magnificent with her. We do have a routine, but I like it. It made me want to do something. She lied to each and every one of us. It stings. I'm not sure. 
I trust AP but he has no motive to lie, since he provided me documentation of her stating this. I've gone missing on my STBX. While my kid is with her, I've been staying someplace else. She has been pestering me incessantly, seeming to care. Even if she did, the harm has already been done, and it's too late to undo it. It's excruciatingly painful, and I'm also numb. I'm simply laughing at the scenario. She had a lot of fun with me. Even after everything, I still have a lot of feelings for her. I think about reconciliation from time to time, hoping that things will return to normal, that I'll recover from this, and that we'll be stronger as a result. But I know I'm worth more than this. Much, much better. I'm not a perfect person, and I've done some dubious things in my life, but I know that the good in me exceeds the bad. I'm a wonderful person who does not deserve this. I tried to be a good wife to her, and I did everything by the book. Nonetheless, this did not deter her from cheating. If is, there is nothing wrong with me. It is not my fault that she is unhappy in her life. Friends and relatives from all around the globe have been sending me messages of encouragement. It caused my divorced parents to argue merely to come up with methods to cheer me up. It's adorable, in my opinion. I've been considering going to Australia. Is this ever possible? Is it possible for me to bring my son? I'm thinking of bringing this up with my lawyer. I was speaking with an old acquaintance who lives nearby, and guess what? She also divorced her spouse two years ago. She has been a great source of comfort for me. Sometimes your life is polluted by negative memories, and you end up all over the place. Then all of your relatives and friends appear out of nowhere to pick up your shattered pieces. Then it doesn't seem so horrible and in war. I wish I could be there with them. I can't wait to get out of here. Update 2. Funny story. A week ago, my Facebook, a dummy one, reminded me of her. Adultery since I preserved all of the screenshots and photographs in secret for our divorce proceedings in case she cleaned out all of her data. She has more technical understanding than I have, so I was terrified that it would happen and I would lose all of my proof. My ex-wife cheated on me with her famous employer and his wife, for those of you who weren't there. She lied to him, telling them that we, too, were in an open marriage. Well, I can honestly say that 2021 was the worst year of my life. Her infidelity has harmed my mental health. I suffer from terrible anxiety and have been diagnosed with depression. At one time, I considered suicide. This is when I quit using social media and was MIA for a bit, but that's another tale. Let's just say I went utterly insane. We divorced, and I am now a free woman in her late 30s who is still looking for myself. The good news is that I was able to maintain our home because my ex-wife and her family insisted on it for the sake of our son's comfort. I couldn't resist the offer since it's such a wonderful place and I can't afford to provide my kid the same lifestyle that she has provided for him his whole life. To be honest, I was able to retain almost everything. Despite their drive for our reunion, her parents have been quite supportive. My family members also flew in to support me, which was quite helpful. Her family and mine got along great, and it breaks my heart to know that I'll never have another friendship like that again. Since then, I haven't talked to my ex. I don't speak to her unless it's about our kid or one of her family's events. There's a lot of hatred and resentment in my heart and head for her, and I'm really trying to be nice to her when we're around other people. Our co-parenting, on the other hand, is excellent. We have a pattern that we stick to, and I can confidently say that I am proud of her for never skipping a beat with our boy. She has been and will continue to be a terrific mother. He is mine, yet she was the one who carry him. I can say that she has made every effort to clean up her mess, but it is a permanent mark on my life that she will never be able to remove no matter how hard she tries. She is desperate for us to return to work. I suppose she misses how carefree and cheerful I used to be with her, but now I'm more guarded and frigid, not only to her, but to everyone else as well. I mourn how I was before all of this, yet in the midst of it all, I discovered true pleasure, on content. And so is my kid, which is the most important thing. He fully knows what occurred, and I believe he despises her for it. Yet, his connection with her is improving. I write to express my rage and pain. I go swimming and work out on a regular basis. Whenever I can, I enroll in pottery and music lessons. I attend conferences and meetups for my interests. These are aspects of myself that I never paid attention to because we met when we were young. To summarize, I am the happy I have ever been. I still have feelings for her, and I know a part of me will always be there. Right now, it's simply clouded with rage and sadness. My heart may be able to forgive her in a few years, but the intellect cannot forget. Even so, 
She'll have to live with the guilt of shattering the beautiful thing we had for the rest of her life, and I pray she doesn't find it in someone else. I couldn't even find the will to live a few months ago. Many of you who have been through similar experiences have been there for me every step of the way. I'm not totally healed, and I doubt I'll ever be. But there are certain aspects of my life that I look forward to every day. Things I do for myself that I would never have done if it hadn't been for the divorce. And I really hope you discover those things as well.